All right, everyone. In this video, we are going to take a look at our first example of creating a custom hook. To keep things simple, we are going to create a custom hook that basically updates the document title. Now, I've split this video into two halves. First half, we are going to create a counter and set the document title as we normally would without any custom hook. In the second half, we will see how to extract the logic into a custom hook. Let's begin. I'm going to start off by creating a new file called doctitle1.js. Within the file, I'm going to use the snippet rfce to create a functional component. Now there are two things to implement. First, I want to keep track of a count value. And second, after every render, I want to update the document title to the current count value. If you remember, this in fact was our example to understand the effect hook. So let's implement the code. First, we need use state and use effect from React. Next, within the component, I'm going to create a count state variable. Const count, comma set count, and the initial value is zero. Next, in the JSX, we add a button to increment this count value. So button, the inner text is going to display the count value. And on click, we increment the count value by one. Set count, count plus one. The last thing to do is update the document title to the current count value. Updating the document title is a side effect, so the code goes within the use effect hook. Use effect, the first argument is an arrow function, and the second argument is the dependency list. For our effect, we just have the one dependency, which is the count variable. Within the arrow function, we simply update the document title to the count value. Document title is equal to count and then the variable count. Let's save the file, include it in app.js and test it out. On page load, you can see that the count is zero and the document title is set to the same. I click on the button, the value increments and the document title is updated again. Everything works as expected. Now what we want to do is update the document title again, but this time from a different component. So I'm going to go back to VS Code and create a new file called doctitle2.js. To save us some time, I'm going to copy the code from doctitle1 and replace doctitle1 with doctitle2. I will include the component in app.js and take a look at the browser. You can see that the second button also works as expected. The document title updates when the count value changes. If you take a look at the code though, it is pretty obvious that we are repeating the same logic in different components. Imagine if you want to have 10 different components that update the document title. You definitely don't want to be repeating the code. This is where a custom hook makes perfect sense. In our current example, we can create a custom hook that extracts the logic of updating the document title. We can then reuse the same custom hook in different components. I'm going to create a new folder called hooks. And within the folder, I'm going to create a new file called use document title.js. Within the file, we use the snippet rfce to add some boilerplate code. 
Now the function name for a custom hook should start with the word use. It is a convention and also your linters rely on this word to determine whether rules of hooks apply to the function or not. So custom hooks, make sure to start with the word use. Okay, now that we have a function, what is the reusable code that we wanted in here? It was the code to update the document title. And if you take a look at document title 1.js, the code is basically the use effect hook. So all that I'm going to do is copy over the use effect hook into the custom hook. Make sure to import use effect from React and also pass count as a parameter. We can also get rid of importing React as we don't have any JSX in this custom hook. Back in the component, we are now going to call our custom hook. So replace use effect with a call to use document title. Make sure to import it at the top and pass in the count variable. Let me also do the same in doc title too. Replace use effect with use document title, passing in count value. And we don't need use effect imported. And that is it. Let's save both the files and test them out in the browser. I click on the first button. You can see that the document title updates. Click on the second button and the document title still updates just fine. So we are achieving the same result as before, but this time we are reusing logic instead of duplicating it. This is the main purpose of custom hooks. Let me go over the code one more time to explain how it all works. In doc title one, we begin from the top. We created a new state variable and initialize it to zero. We then call a function, which is our custom hook, passing in the count state variable. On initial render, the count value is zero, which gets passed into use document title. In use document title, all that happens is the document title gets set to the passed in count value. So the title now reads count zero. The execution goes back to the component and then the JSX is rendered. When you click on the button, the count value increments to one. This will cause doc title one to re-render. Count value is now one, which gets passed to use document title. With the use document title, the effect depends on the count variable. Since the count changed from zero to one, the effect is executed. This will now set the title to count one. The execution goes back to the component and the JSX is rendered with the updated count value. For every increment in count value, the same set of steps are repeated. And this happens again with doc title two. So there you go, our first custom hook in React. Although this might not seem like a practical use case, this was the simplest custom hook I could think of to be our first example. In the next video, let's create another custom hook. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.